Watch your actions. They become your habits. What's our record, gentlemen? Uh, Have we made winning a habit? Yes, coach. So we better keep it going. Watch your habits. They become your character. And this is what tonight's all about, guys. It's about character. It's about who's going to come out first and hit first. It's about who's going to come out second and hit second. It's about who's going to be hitting all the way to the end of the fourth quarter. Guys, this game comes down to one thing and one thing only. Habits. And when it comes down to it, you're a more disciplined team. As the Pioneers move forward, they face another 4-0 team underneath the Friday Night Lights, a Rahway High School Indian team who would prove that they earned their wins. Have, have fun out there. Let loose. You're, you're just as good an athlete as all of them. Okay? So, hey, so, so just play. Despite defensive pressure, the Indians would soon jump to a 12-0 lead over the Pioneers. Good job, AJ! Hey, Booker, go on it. Get on it. That's the fullback. That's the wingback. That's the fullback. He's keying him. Okay. You got me? Yeah. Watch him. If he goes right at you, you see the window? It's yeah. right there. You got to get there. You got to get there. Right? Set the, set the line of scrimmage at the line of scrimmage. Right, Somerville's first score came from Nick Cousy to a new face, Duke McDuffie. <laughs> the Rahway Indians would answer quickly putting up eight points after a two-point conversion to make the score 20 to 7. Anything? Cut around so then yeah, I would so have hey, to open that, up What that means is he didn't break your cushion. You're not supposed to, as soon as he breaks your it's cushion. It's your comfort zone, right? My comfort zone, but it's pretty fast. So I got I you, you got it. You're there. You made a play. Just let him cut underneath you. If he tries to cut, cut underneath you, get your hand on him and try to open back your hips. Okay? okay. Good job up there. And then we're going to run Randy and Larry out of two bites, like East Randy, West Larry. Get, we need to get this tempo up because they're getting gas. We're not even but the pioneer offense, not to be outdone, would put up another seven after a touchdown run from senior Keyshawn Newton. Then, on the subsequent play after, Max Madrazo would make a crucial play in the first half to swing momentum towards the Somerville side when he stripped and recovered the ball for the pioneers. That play would set up a touchdown pass to Nas to put the pioneers on top for the first time of the game, 21-20. Rahway would yet again put the ball in the end zone and make the score 28 to 21, but in the closing minutes of the first half, Nick Cousy would find Josie Impola to knot the score up 28-28. So we just got to sack up and we got to play football. Okay. All right. Hey, we put ourselves in a good position, and, and, and now it's about who's the better team. All, right? All the emotions are gone. Now it's about who's the better team. Heading into halftime, the defensive coaches wanted to stress how crucial it was to correct mistakes and shut out the Indians in the second half. That summer workouts, that lift on Monday, that lift on Wednesday, it's, 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 it's what we're made right now, fellas. Championships are made right now. Right now. Right now, fellas. Let's go. 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 let us go after the Indians thought they had some momentum, senior lineman A.J. Akins would force a fumble that set up a touchdown pass to Chrissy Impola. Look at me. You want me to slap you around or something? All right, you ready to go? Huh? You ready? Come on. 
Let's go. Downhill. This is senior. Come on, Mr. Captain. Let's go. The following drive would end with the Indians in the end zone for the last time, with the fog rolling in. The Pioneer offense kept rolling with an 80-yard touchdown pass to Chris Ciampola from Nick Cousy. Just stick with your man. Fast feet. When you see that ball go up, I don't want any more of this pausing with our hips. Attack. All right, attack the ball. As the defense kept getting stops, the offense would continue to put up points. Here, Nick Cousy runs the ball in for a 17-yard touchdown score. All right, how much time is left? 933. They're down by what? They're down by what? Oh, man. About to be 14, all right? I don't know. About to be 14, look at me. I don't know. Listen to me. Stick with the plan. Keep doing what you're doing. Let's get the pick, all right? You stay vertical. Nobody messes with you. If you come in there, you get on the field. I think I just broke you. I heard that. Don't, don't break your cushion out here until until you get at him. Because what you do is you go out here, he can play inside of you. Joe, do you want this? But if you run at him and make your move, and then you stack him, you'll, you'll beat him every time. You know what I'm saying? Your time. I don't know. All right, we're confident. Look at me. Stay with the man the whole time. Yeah. All right, especially on the scrambles. Yeah. All right, I know, they're I gonna it. come vertical. Christy and Polo would put the ball between the uprights to make the lead 17 points for the Pioneers. We're up four scores, yeah. four possessions, with two minutes and 49 seconds to go. I'm still not content. Never you understand? You can't be either. Coach Rob Serino may have found bliss in the next few plays after a stop on fourth down led to the final score of the night from halfback Ahmad Lee, effectively securing the Pioneers' 59 to 35 win. You kept punching, defense, you, you did exactly what we needed to do. We needed to play downhill the second half. We won the second half huge. Great job, I'm very proud of you guys. Bring it in, come on. Let's, let's go! go. With his performance against Rahway, quarterback Nick Cousy was named the Courier News Player of the Week. This marks the second time a Pioneer has had that honor this season. After that game, the coaches are quick to look forward with their 5-0 team, making sure practice is as good and productive as it can be. Guys, hey, listen up. Listen to your indie coaches today. Okay, today's a super important day. All right, we have to, have to, have to get better. Okay? It's a weird week. It's a long week. Okay? Treat today like Monday. Learn as much as you can. Okay? Plant the seed. All right, let's go ahead and cultivate our crop this week. You guys got me? Hey, Dion, three, get your indie coaches. One, two, three, three. Defense and drills. The week six matchup for Somerville will be against Governor Livingston in Berkeley Heights, their last road game of the regular season before returning to Brooks Field for three straight home games. You have a chance to do something really special, seniors. And I'm not telling you yell and scream. I'm just telling you to use a little leadership here. Do you understand that? Okay, bring it in. Let's go. Let's go. Who's got it? Go back. Bring it down. Let's go. Come on. Trust us! Trust us! Trust us! This is the Ville! Oh, oh, oh! For up-to-the-date news, stats, highlights, and more, visit us online at www.summervillefootball.com.